Speaking of well-earned, hard-earned, well-deserved, there was a culmination of a lot of excitement and anticipation with Patrick S. Tomlinson, the award-winning sci-fi fiction author. You see, on the last episode of Patrick S. Tomlinson, he had just, uh, he was beating the drums. He was about to march into court. He had it all written out in his, his head, his great moment where he would stand up and slam the desk and say, I'm not out of order. You're out of order. This whole damn court's out of order. And the judge would be so taken aback by his brazen defense of self, his righteous indignation that he would have no choice but to declare the prior judgments before him vacated due to unfairness and actually arrest the, 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 um, the plaintiff on the spot for cyberbullying. So he had this written on his head. He was talking to people about it. He was trying to get on, on a podcast on local news to talk about it. And then the day comes and right before the, I should explain that what the, the hearing was for was contempt of court. He had a contempt of court, court hearing because he was ordered to pay quasi. And actually, normally when you're ordered to pay, what you do is you, uh, if the, you decide not to pay, um, the guy who has the debt just decides to collect on it, which is like with a credit card bill. You know, you have to hire a, a collector. You have to pay someone to try and collect. You may have to sue to actually have it collected. It's kind of a pain in the ass to collect any amount of money from somebody not willing to pay you. Because in the United States and many other countries, debtors have rights it, to, to get to the point where the, the police are literally breaking down your door and hauling your furniture off to sell at, a, at an auction. That's way down the road and that costs a lot of money, usually more money than the debt is worth. So it doesn't happen unless unless your name is Patrick S. Tomlinson and you are way, way dumber than you think you are. So Patrick agrees to a payment plan, and this becomes a court order. He agrees to pay Quasi a fixed amount of money over three years, which is very fair. Um, but because of how he entered into this agreement, it became enforced by the, the power of the court. And if he were to renege on his agreement to pay Quasi, then it becomes the court's problem, and he's in contempt of court. So his decision not to pay Quasi after promising the court that he would pay the money in a certain amount, a certain way, in a certain amount of uh, money over a certain amount of time, um, that became a criminal issue. So he had a criminal contempt of court hearing that was coming up, and everyone was very eager to see him represent himself because at some point he dismissed his attorney. At the last second, he hired two lawyers to represent him, which is a little bit strange because um, he's already spent like $100,000 to sue somebody, but now he's on the defense and he decides to hire two attorneys out of nowhere. And what everyone expects is that Patrick will simply say, I just hired counsel. Um, they need time to acquaint themselves with this hot mess that I got myself into. I need this continued so that they can have time to uh, educate themselves on the facts of the law. Uh, that did not happen. He, after huffing and puffing and swearing up and down and going on podcasts and, and shouting to the ends of the earth that he will not pay quasi because they are terrorists extorting him and his family into submission. He hires two attorneys at the last second, walks into court and then agrees to pay quasi. Uh, attorney David Pawlowski, Pawlowski appears for the plaintiff quasi. Attorney Megan McCabe appears for the defendant, which is Patrick. Contempt hearing held. The parties advise the court the matter has been resolved. Parties request that contempt be stayed pending the satisfaction of the judgment. Court approves agreement confirming documents to be submitted by e-filing. He walks in and he says, we have reached an agreement out of court. There is no need to have contempt of, he uh, contempt of court uh, hearings because uh, he's going to pay. Uh, which is the exact opposite of what he's been saying for for weeks. Uh, it's dot st is the Kiwi Farms right now. Um, so that was a surprise. It did not play out like how anyone expected. Um, however, it remains to be seen if he will actually pay 
quasi. The real surprise was that um, one of the the past that's the like the DSP people are called detractors, and the Chris people are usually called a logs or weens or whatever. The past are the the Tomlinson folk, and the Tomlinson folk uh, sent their their best their top guy, their top guy out to the hearing. Patrick tried to get this guy banned or arrested at the court because he didn't let them there. Um, but Dan, I think they call him Dan. Um, he he was there. He did attend the hearing, and from what I understand, he reported that Tomlinson is still insisting that the that Quasi is the federal judge that the fat retard Indian Jackie Singe has reported him to be. Kind of hard to explain, but Jackie is this. She's she's a natal woman, which is shocking because she's so hideous. But she's like a real internet tough guy who really hates the Kiwi Farms and also uh, the ONA people and is on firmly on Patrick's side. And she failed docs quasi. She insists that he's from Oman and is the son of a federal judge or something. I don't know how that works out. I don't know the details. It's apparently bullshit. But Tomlinson apparently reiterated this point in court and is accusing Quasi of being this um this person. So S I N G H. Okay, let's see. Learn some poo in the loo today, chat. Sing. Sing. Jackie Sing. From the from the land of spice. Um, who is also one of those people who is way, way, way dumber than they think they are for whatever reason. So that's uh that's the the Patrick stuff. He I was expecting a continuance or something. I was hoping for something ridiculous where he would show up by himself and then bloviate about how uh the system is doing him dirty. And instead, I think that he hired two attorneys for a second, I guess for a second opinion. He hired one attorney and the attorney said, pay him. And then he hired another attorney for a second opinion and they said, pay him. And he's like, fine, stalker child. I I am not the commandeer of this system. I am but a mere victim of it. And if that is what's required of me to continue my fight against the cruelty of the internet, I will pay Quasi, but I will not be silenced. I will find you, Omani, son of a federal judge, and there will be hell to pay. So chapter two, Patrick's Revenge, Fat F the, dark, the dark Patrick saga, where he abandons the legal mechanisms and goes to hunting hunting quasi down in the deserts of oman like the fucking dog he is thank you for watching this clip this is the csa remember to like and subscribe